cooking nooks, fed up, fast, easy, delicious. I'm Christine Deaton, and we have a great, great show planned for you today. Okay, I gotta talk about our guest star right off the bat. So in 2018, this lady that's gonna be with us today what became an internet sensation. Her name is Mary Halsey. Now, why did Mary become an internet sensation? It's because of this. She had a function at her hometown in Rhode Island, and um, it was on video, and she was doing the rap song, um, Work It, by Missy Elliott, and Missy Elliott saw it and thought it was great, and, and they kind of made a connection. The next thing you know, Ellen DeGeneres sees the video, invites Mary Halsey on her show. Mary goes on the Ellen show, and who joins her during the rap song is Missy Elliott. So it was a big deal. And so we are so excited today that Mary Halsey is going to be right here on camera, of course, with us. And so we are very, very excited about that. So welcome, everybody, to a great show. Today, here's the menu. We're doing a casserole in my skillet. So it's a green chili chicken uh, enchilada casserole, which is to die for, absolutely delicious. We're gonna make some Spanish rice, and we're gonna do a delicious punch, and then I've got a quick and easy lemon-lime dessert. Wait till you see that. It's gonna take all of about five minutes to do the whole dessert. Okay, so let's get started right now. Eden, come over here, honey. You can help me make the punch, okay? Today's drink, this is Eden. You guys have seen my, my grandson before. Um, we're going to make a lemonade pineapple punch. So easy. So the first thing we're going to do is, Eden, I'm going to have you dump about, it's about a, um, a quart, we're going to do about maybe a quart and a half of lemonade. So pour it to about right where that is. I'll, pour, I'll have you pour that in there. Oh. How's everybody doing out there today? We have my sister-in-law, Melena. We have my niece, Isabella, and we have my mother here. Hello. Chris, you can hello. turn around and say hi to everybody. Hi. Judy hey, Warden says hello. Yum. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Keep going. A little bit more. Um, okay, so we're going to make a punch. And then we're going to go make the rice, and then we're going to show you how I'm going to prepare the, it's going to be more like a lasagna, kind of a level thing. So I'm going to show you the different the different things, that the components that we have to make. Very simple, though. Who's online right now? We have Mary Ward and Good. We have Dottie Zarnowski. Hello, you guys. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining us. Hey, this is going to be such a fun show today because Mary's coming on. And Mary is fabulous and funny and talented, and she's just a neat person, so we're very excited about that. Okay, Eden, now we're going to do two cups. So we've got like about a quart and a half of already made lemonade. Eden's going to put in <clears throat> two cups of pineapple juice. Doesn't that sound delicious? Yeah. Okay, very good. That's looking pretty already. And then, Eden, you're going to take the Sprite and you're just going to finish to about right here. So just a good old Sprite to make it a little bubbly. Go ahead, Eden. Vivian Wooster just joined in. Hello, Hello, Mac. Hello, Elizabeth's here. Hi, babe. That's my daughter. <laughs> okay. Eden, yeah. this is looking great. Mom, she's got Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Perfect. There you go. That's the whole thing. Give it a little stir if you will. And then even you can throw some, uh, like maybe a cup of ice in there and then put the lid on. And then our uh, lemonade is done. It's a lemonade pineapple. But if, no, we're not going to do those. That was just a decoration. And what I did for the cups is I have on a little toothpick or skewer is two pieces of pineapple and a lemon right there. So mom, actually, you can, as soon as Eden put some ice in there, if you want to you guys want to sample that? You're welcome to do that. Even you can pour them up some. Okay, let's go over here and do our rice. Mary Halsey says hi, everyone. Hey, Mary. Yay. I'm going to have you on in just a few minutes. I'm going to start my prep stuff, and then we're going to get you on. We want to talk to you. I'm very excited. Okay, let's do our Spanish rice. Now, if you have a rice cooker, there you go. You get a thumbs up because this is one of the easiest and the neatest things, utensils, whatever you want to call it, to have in the kitchen. It is so easy. Just look at this. So I'm going to put two cups of rice. 
really beautiful. Four cups of water, it's always a two to one, okay? I'm gonna throw some onion, you know why? Because I love onion. And then I'm gonna do a whole packet of McCormick's taco seasoning, and this is the 30% less sodium. Anytime you guys know I can use less sodium, I'm gonna do it, and they actually have it in the taco seasoning, they have a 30% less sodium. Whole packet in. Vivian Wooster says hello. Hello, Vivian, how are you, dear? Thank you for joining us today. Okay, guys, so I'm just stirring this around. Chris, can you see that in there? And it looks pretty already. Look at that. You do have to preheat, okay? As soon as you plug it in, you just, you just let it preheat. The green light will go on, on this one anyway. And then um, I'll show you what I do. After I get it stirred up, lid goes down cooking button goes down, rice is going, I don't have to do anything else. Clean as you go, put that in the sink. At the end of the show, I usually have a dishwasher load. Clean up is so simple. Eden, I'm gonna have you throw that away. Mom, what was your question about that? What did you put in before the, the, the seasoning mix? You put some I just put the, the two cups of rice, four cups of water, and I put a whole little, I, I diced small uh, onion, right, red, so red onion, red onion, red onion, okay? Okay, so here's what I have, because what I'm going to do in my skillet is I'm, I'm going to do like, like a lasagna, okay? It's going to be a layered, that's going to be my casserole, okay? So what do I have here? I have cream of chicken soup, I have two cans, and these are the regular um, 10, ounce, 10 and a half ounce cans, okay? And a, a can of water. So I've got two cans of the, the, the soup and two cans of it. Uh, it's a, yeah, the cream of chicken soup. And then two cans of water, okay? And I'm going to start heating that up. And last night I boiled some chicken and I small diced it. This is three chicken breasts right here. And that's going to go, when this starts to bubble, I'm going to put my chicken in. All I'm doing is heating the chicken through. That's all I need to do. So save yourself some time in the kitchen and do some prep stuff the night before when you've got things like this where you're going to need chicken or, or whatever it is. Do it the night before because then all you got to do is cut, dice, whatever, and you're ready to go. And over here, oh, this is amazing. This is green chili enchilada sauce. Already done. I don't have to do anything and this is delicious. I actually have two cans. This is a big can and this is... Um, a 28 ounce can. I've got two of these because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Now, I can add a can of green chilies, but really there's no need because this is a green chili sauce. So this is all green chili. You can, I mean, the whole can smells amazing and it's all green chili. So if you, if you like an overabundance of green chili, by all means, open up a can of green, diced green chilies and you can put it with the recipe also. So I want to get this cooking also and heat it up, okay? So let's see. Now, the dessert today, let me get you over here while these things are heating up. The dessert is so easy. I changed it up a little bit because it's warm right now. We're in the middle of summer and it gets really hot in kitchens. And I, I hate the heat. I don't know about you guys, but I hate the heat. So I changed from having to turn my oven on to a dessert that is cold and refreshing and delicious. So today what I'm doing is I've got these little dessert shells, okay? I'm making little tarts, okay? And all I'm going to do is at, at the very end, because I'm going to leave this stuff in the refrigerator, is I made some lemon pudding and I actually um, put um, zest of limes and lemons in the pudding, okay? So it's a lemon lime. And then I'm going to just put that in the middle of my little of my little pastry cups here. And then I have Cool Whip that I'm going to just do on top of that. And then I have some of, a little bit more of the lemon and lime zest, okay? And I've got a little lemon and a lime cut pretty small. And that's going to be my garnish on top. So the dessert really and truly, once I get started, will take about five minutes. It's going to be very easy. Okay, let's go over here. We have Sis Cortez in the house. Hello. We have Joe Aquatic in the house. And somebody is asking, what's the difference between the green and red sauces? Is the one is spicier? Um, they all, uh, okay, so the red is a, is a tomato base. Okay. And the green chili is, it's a green, it, a green sauce is just a green chili base. 
okay? Um, usually on the can somewhere, it'll tell you, like this is a medium. Somewhere on the can of a chili product, it's going to tell you the degree of heat. Okay, this is a medium. I like a little bit of zing, but I don't like it so hot that then you don't taste the rest of the food. That's, that, that ruins it for me. But there are people that, I mean, they can eat ghost chilies. Well, good luck with that, because that just is like, I, I don't know how that happened. I, I saw a show one time that they did an entire, um, they did an entire Thanksgiving meal with ghost chilies. Oh my gosh. I, I was like, I don't understand. Lisa Martinez says, thank you for that clarification. Okay, yes. So there you go. There, it, 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 if you look on the cans, it'll tell you, it should tell you. The, the good, I, I should say this, the good brands of the food usually give you an indication of what the degree of the chili, the, the, the heat is. Okay, so just check. And literally, it's right there. Even if you get a small can of the diced green chilies, it usually tells you what the, what the degree is. Okay, wow, we got a new camera guy because Chris is getting ready to pull Mary up in a couple of minutes. So my grandson Eden, now we've got, we've got him from going from making punch to being my cameraman. So how are we doing over there, Eden? You okay? Pretty good. My, my hands are just a tiny a bit shaky. a little shaky. <laughs> well, honey, I appreciate you doing that for us today. Okay, so this is starting to heat up, and I'm going to dunk here. Eden, come on over, and I just want you to look, and I'm going to put all the chicken in there and stir that around, okay? And let me tell you guys, this is so easy, so quick, fast, easy, and delicious, and it is a great skillet recipe. Um, it takes, once you get it all layered, we're going to turn the heat down, and we're going to put the lid on so that everything kind of, you know, gets together, all the flavors marry. We're going to put cheese on the top so that the cheese all melts. And, ooh, is it going to be good? Okay, so there you go. Now, let me show you. Hey, how are we doing? We can start pulling Mary up before I start assembling. All over. right, Mary, we're coming to you here in just a second. Come on over here, Eden. Nancy Lorraine Britton. Yeah, she's in the house. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. We're getting Mary. Mary, where are you, girl? She she just took, had a little thing right here. Okay. Where is she? Hello. Hi, Mary. <laughs> okay, you can't hear us. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. You guys are gonna figure out. It's my earbuds. It's, it's it's my earbuds. Don't worry about it. Okay. I can hear you fine. Okay. All right. Well, very good. Well, hey, girl. Thank you for being here today. We're so excited about this. How are you? Thank you for having me. Yay! You doing well today or what? Am I what? Are you doing okay today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay. Well, here, you know what? We are very excited to have you. And, of course, we've been talking about you for weeks now. And I would like you to tell everybody, what, what is your musical background? How did you get into the, the videos and all that stuff? Because I find this fascinating. So tell us a little bit about you. Okay. Well, you did a great job. I saw the beginning and you did a great job telling what happened. I uh, sang that song. I've sung it for 15 years at that time. That was in July of 2018. Okay. So I had sung it for 15 years. And I had always said, someday you're going to see me on Ellen and say you knew me when. <laughs> Did you really? And we only got a cell phone on July 11th and put that video up on July 29th. <gasps> so everything worked together wow. perfectly. Wow, that was so meant to be. How crazy is that? Oh Before that, we didn't have cell phones. We, we still have our landline, but we only had a landline. <laughs> and people used to say, oh, you know you what? You got to get a cell. A cell phone's going to change your life forever. Oh. I had no idea. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that is so cool. So listen, have you, did you sing and did you perform your whole life? Or where did that come from? I started singing karaoke in 1989, uh -huh. and um, the first song I sang was The Rose. Oh, yeah, Bette Midler. Midler, sure. That's a beautiful and song. And I got such, 
such a beautiful response from people around me yeah that i was like i'm a karaoke i became like i needed a 12-step program for karaoke <laughs> i mean for like an addiction <laughs> like I would go to the diviest dives, right? And there's a lot of dives that have karaoke. Nothing against, <laughs> but they are the dives. They are the dives. Oh my gosh! And I would go, and and that was before I sang Missy Elliott. That was before I sang rap. <laughs> but I would just sing and have a lot of fun, right? And then it was 2003. I was in a contest where I started to sing, work it. Uh -huh. And I didn't win the contest, but I got so many, so many people loved it so much. Wow. Every age group. It it was the young people. Yes. The middle-aged people. <laughs> even the old people who hate rap were like, <laughs> I hate rap, but I love that song you do. That I is love awesome. that song. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is such a neat story. Oh, my God. What is your favorite type of music? We're talking about rap, but is that your favorite? What do you like to sing? Anything? Honestly, I love all music because I really believe that music, like laughter, right, is a universal language. language. Yes, it is. I I one hundred percent agree with you. I I mean, music music can touch the heart of even somebody that's kind of lost their something in life. You sing them a song. And it's going to bring something back. I think music's fabulous. I mean, I've been involved in music since I'm a kid. So I love it. We have a singing group and all that stuff. So, I mean, music's a huge part of my life. And that's why I'm glad we hooked up with you. Because I, I just find your story fascinating. Especially now with the cell phone thing. Wasn't that supposed to happen? Holy cow. I know. And I worked with the Alzheimer's patients when I was working at the nursing home. And... They have no short-term memory whatsoever, most of them, but they all remember music, the lyrics yeah. and the songs. Isn't that to crazy? The so and, and that's why I play the harmonica. Oh, I play this. a lot of old songs because they recognize those songs. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. That gave me kind of chills over here. Play something on your harmonica. Okay. No pressure. Well, here's what we would like to happen today. So we would like you to do something, a song for us now, if you will. And then what we're going to do is later on when Chris edits the show, um, okay. he's going to put your your clip that you sent us, and it's the Ellen clip, right? And we're going to put that at the end of this so anybody that wants to see that specific video, they'll have to go to the YouTube, My Cooking Nook, and see that later on today. But for okay. right now, I'm going to turn it over to you, do a song for us. While I go stir my food, I'm going to have the camera on you, and I'll be listening. So this is Mary right. Wolsey, everybody. Thank you, Christine. Woo. I'd like to sing a song for you called um, Look Up Child. And the uh, original singer is Lauren Daigle, D-A-I-G-L-E. And the song is very appropriate for right now. And um, just a small side, I met Lauren Daigle in February of 2019 at the Grammys. Oh, wow. So I got to actually meet Lauren Daigle. And I told her how I would sing her songs to the residents at the nursing home. Aww. And she thought that was absolutely wonderful. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's hear it. All right. All right, here we go. Where are you now when darkness seems to win? Where are you now when the world is crumbling? Oh, I, I, I hear you say, I hear you say, look up, child. Hey, look up, child. Hey, hey. Where are you now when all I feel is doubt? Where are you now when I can't figure it out? Oh, I, 
I, I hear you say, I hear you say, look up child, hey, look up child, hey, hey. You're not threatened by the war, you're not shaken by the storm, I know you're in control. Even in our suffering, even when it can't be seen, I know you're in control. And I, I, I hear you say, I hear you say, look up child, <laughs> hey. Look up, child. Hey, hey. Look up, child. Hey. Look up, child. Hey, hey. Look up. That is beautiful. Oh, I love the song. I got goosebumps. Oh my gosh, that I is got so goosebumps. absolutely. That is so beautiful and perfect for now. Look up, child, because everything's gonna get better. I'm telling you, I love it. Thank you so much. Hey, Mary, listen, we're, we're doing a cooking show. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. Well, as you can see, <laughs> I'm a big girl. There isn't much that I don't like. <laughs> I like Mexican. Okay. I like Chinese. Okay. I like Thai. I like burgers i like hot dogs obviously i'm not a vegetarian or uh... <laughs> well we were making one of your favorites today it's mexican food so so i wish i could send you a plate of what we're making today but listen I, 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 I thank you so much for doing the show with us today. Um, I'm glad we were finally able to coordinate this. I think you're a special lady. You've got a gift. And I, you keep doing what you're doing because it brings thank joy. You. It brings joy to people. It brought joy to us. And we want to thank you so much for doing My Cooking Nook's Fed Up today. We love you, Mary. Oh, you're welcome, Christine. Thank you for inviting me. And, and I'm really happy that... A lot of people that follow me are now following Yay, you. Yay, thank you so much for that, too. And, hey, the next time you get to Branson, will you please let me know you're here so maybe we could hook up? I will. I should have. I should have. That, that last trip yeah. was a bit of a craziness, but um, okay. next time. Okay. I, I Thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much, my dear. I appreciate it. God love you. God bless. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank Can you. Can I go back now on the other one and watch? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> Bye, Mary. You Thank guys. you. Bye-bye. I hope it works out. Me too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Gina Marie Flores is in the house. All right. Martinez. We have Thank these. you. Yes. Hello, everybody who's joining us. It's a great day to join us because we had a great guest on. And tonight, when Chris edits the show, you'll get to see Mary's actual performance um, on the Ellen DeGeneres show it, it was great i've seen it several times and i could watch it uh, dozens of other times mary is just she's just such a neat lady she's got a lot of life in her i mean as far as you know just loving life and and and, and that's i wish i wish everybody had a little piece of what mary feels inside so mary thank you so much thank you so much for doing the show for us and we love you and we'll follow you so keep following us all right let's do this guys Here's the deal. We are ready to put our, our casserole together, okay? Everything on the stove is done. All right, we're gonna heat this up. Now, on the bottom, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of butter. I want that buttery, nice buttery flavor on the bottom, okay? I don't want anything to stick, but we're gonna use butter today. And so here, let me show you this. Let me get this over here. This is our chicken that I made last night with the with the um the, the cream of chicken soup okay chris you got that right mm -hmm. all righty and then i've got my green chili sauce right here and i also have cheese and of course i've got the tortillas because you can't make a you know an enchilada casserole without tortillas and i did get the yellow corn today I usually prefer white corn, but not for the casserole. The casserole, the, 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 the yellow taste is a little different, and I think it, it works better in casseroles, okay? 
All right, so this is heating up nicely. I'm gonna get a drink of water here. It is a hot kitchen. Wow. Oh, we have Carolyn here. Hello. Thank you all for being here today. We really, really appreciate that. Oh, Sharon Heaton. Hello, Sharon. Yvette Munoz. Hello, Yvette. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you. Week after week, you come on and, and support me, and I really appreciate that. Speaking of supporting, though, we do want you guys, Chris, I will let you do your thing and tell people what they need to do to keep supporting us. All right. Well, you're here now, obviously, and that's great. We love you being here with us. You can go to the YouTube channel, My Cooking Nook. And search for My Cooking Nook on YouTube. You will find our channel there. We want you to like and subscribe to the channel. And you can catch all the videos. You'll get to see Mary's appearance today and her video that she submitted to us and at the end of that show. Episode, episode number 25. 25. So there's lots of material out there to go and, yes. and watch. You can also go to our, uh, our website, mcnfedup.com dot biz that's m c n fed up dot biz and there again you can get links to the videos you can get information on uh, past and upcoming uh, menus for the shows and you can follow christine's meniere's journey learn about meniere's disease which is you know such an important part of what we do and why we do it yeah. and uh, just keep following us here on facebook attending the our our weekly shows and share us please, please like subscribe please, share please. us with all your friends so i recently you know huey lewis huey lewis on the news he's got many years disease and he re recently retired completely retired from the music industry and i recently read another article about him and he said that he he had no choice but to quit because he had lost all his hearing in his left ear in like 70 percent in his right ear and that's what happens with this disease. One of the wonderful things that happens with the disease is you lose your hearing. And um, that's where I am right now, too, actually. So I'm, I'm definitely losing. Okay, this is what we need to do. We dip the tortillas. We dip, I'm gonna turn this down. I wanna turn down. We dip the tortillas right in the green chili enchilada sauce. It's going to be delicious, right? You can tell already? <laughs> hey, you guys over there, are you having your pineapple lemonade? Is it good? Is it good? Okay. You can help yourselves to more if you'd like. You can help yourselves to more. Okay. So I've got my tortillas in the bottom here. Okay. Now, now I'm going to spoon the chicken on top. Like I said, this is going to be a layered plate, and then I've got, you know you put cheese and all that good stuff. You know you got to have cheese, right? You can't be you can't live in this house or visit this house without liking cheese. It's just a it's just a requirement. <laughs> so here we go. This is just all it is is my chicken in the cream of chicken uh, soup. Okay, that's all that is. And now. Ta-da! Cheese! Cheese, 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 cheese. I should write a song about cheese. Because <laughs> cheese and I are such good friends that it just, it has to be an ode to cheese. Thing. I don't know. I love it that much. So okay. Somebody says, who doesn't like cheese? Well, exactly. All right, then you can come to my house. If you like cheese, you can come to my house. And here you go. So okay. I'm going to respond. Dottie Zarnowski says, yes. the man doing the camera, are you Christine's husband? <laughs> Why, yes, I am. Aren't I a lucky fellow? <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> yes, we've actually, uh, uh, in September, we'll be married 35 years. So, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 35 years of good fortune for me. Woo! You, you, see, he's a smart man. <laughs> he knows what to say. <laughs> smart guy. <laughs> Okay, is everybody looking at this deliciousness? I'm just like, holy cow. So this is our second layer. Okay, remember, you're dumping, you're dumping, you're not dumping anything. You're dipping the tortillas in the green chili enchilada sauce. Okay, now we're gonna put more of the chicken on top. 
And remember, this is going to have to simmer a little bit because I need all the flavors to marry, okay? And um, they all have to come together. I also want everything to, you, you know what lasagna looks like after a while. Actually, with lasagna, the longer it sits out, the, the, all the layers kind of come together and then you can actually slice it and it's a perfect, perfect little square on your plate. This is the same kind of thing. We, we're going to probably cut it before we should today, just for the sake of the show. But um, it's going to be delicious however we do it. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Can you guys smell any of this, yes, by the way? Yes, it smells delicious. Yeah. By the way, my rice is done. And so, see how easy that was? I threw everything in the rice cooker. Hey, listen, I've told you guys about skillets. Get a skillet. They're 18 bucks at Walmart. The round ones are especially awesome. I don't know why I can't explain that, but they just are. And maybe it's just my personal preference. And rice cookers are great. Food timers. All these things help in the kitchen. When you are one of the people like myself who need to do things pretty quick in the kitchen, Oh, you need all the help you can get. You need all the gadgets and the gizmos and stuff. And so that's what I do. I, I get the stuff that I need. I keep finding new things. At least gives you ideas for holidays, huh? Right, Chris? Mm -hmm. When I see something I want. Now, the one thing that I don't have, you guys can tell me about that, is an Instapot. I don't have that yet. If you're out there and you have an Instapot, tell me about it. What do they do? How come you like it? What is it Instapot does it. What, is, what does it do? I mean, I know what it does, but what do you guys like about it? How many people use the Instapot? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so delicious and so beautiful. Look at that. You know, I may actually get four layers. Can you believe that? Four layers? What? You can put another layer, I, I, you know, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to put some of the green chili layer here, too, because I'm dipping all the tortillas, but let's, let's, let's get crazy. And our Mary Warden says, yum. Yum, yes, absolutely. This is, ooh, look at this. See, see I, I'm good with the green chili. I like the green chili, okay? That, that's going to be like the best layer. That's it, the best layer right there. Okay, let's do, oh, cheese, we're going to do some cheese. Cheese, 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 okay, and I'm going to save this for, I'm going to do one more layer, but I'm going to do all this on top, okay, they got to have a nice cheesy top, so remember, dip your tortillas, everybody, dip them, dip them, dip them, hey, Mary out there, if you're still out there, Mary Halsey, thank you again for being on the show with us, because that was awesome, and you're a fun guest, and she's very, I, she's very fun, and you have a lot to say, and that's like, that's, that's, I love that. I love that, because life is interesting, and people, everybody's got a story, and so I like to hear it. And yours is that, that the cell phone thing, and you doing the Missy Elliott song, and this happening to it, man, was that supposed to happen. And good for you. Okay, I'm going to use my last bit here of the chicken, and I'm going to take some of the sauce out on the top because I want the top to be a little like crunchier. We're gonna make it less saucy, okay? And Bob McKenzie says, Debbie and Tasha love that. Love the casserole? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, this is, and guys, this is so easy. It's so easy to make, honest to goodness. Do yourself a favor and make the chicken the night before, because you don't want to have to mess with all that it, it, now. You're okay. making people hungry. Yay! That's good. Hey, I want to know out there, because we've talked about doing this. we talked about doing an actual online class. How many people out there would be interested in, if I tell you, like, the week prior, the ingredients to get cooking together? If you're interested, please let us know, because we, I think we're, we're, we're thinking of doing that. All right. This is my last layer. Okay. I've got to put a little of the green chili up here. Okay, then I'm going to put the tortillas, the rest of the tortillas, and the cheese, and then it's just going to sit here and simmer. Anissa Meyer says simmer. she'll be interested. Who's that? Anissa Meyer. Okay, great. That would be that would be fabulous. Hi, Anissa. Thank you for joining us today. 
Thank you, thank you. Hey, I lost the tortilla, but that's okay. It gets to really drown in the uh, green chili, so I'm, it's a happy tortilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very happy tortilla. Okay, look at this, guys. We got like a five-layer, can you believe this? A five-layer casserole? When does that happen? <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. Now, I have quite a bit of the of the green chili sauce. You know that's not going to waste, right? I'm going to use that for something else. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the rest of my cheese on top. And I could, it, 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 you know what? I'm actually going to get more cheese. I don't know what you guys think about that. But. Mary Warden is asking, does the whole dish cook again once it's all put together or just set? Say that, say that again. If it cooks all, if the dish cooks again once it, it's all put together, or does it just set? Does it continue cooking? Yeah. It, it will continue cooking. And that's that's the better way to to, to have it. Like like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this in a minute. I'm gonna cut some, but the longer it sits, it gets it gets it'll like all a, come together. Like a layer cake. Yes, yes. So it is better to let it simmer for maybe 15, 20 minutes. We don't have the luxury of that kind of time today because I want everybody to see it. But it is going to simmer right now. And we're going to, I'm going to show you a, at least a piece of it so that you can see the delicious, deliciousness of this because you're not going to believe it. I'm going to leave that right there because I'm going to let it cool off. Don't ever put something steaming hot in your refrigerator. It, it cools differently. And it makes the stuff in your refrigerator the temperature drop. So that's a good tip in the kitchen. Always let your stuff cool off before you put it in the kitchen. When I used to work at Harris Casino, we had a big bain marie, and everything went on, on ice before we stuck anything in the refrigerator. You have to cool food down before you stick it in the refrigerator. I am just throwing that away. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna look at the rice. Oh, come here! <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> and I, you know, what did I? It did the work, not me. I just threw stuff in there. Okay, I'm gonna clean this stuff up, and then even you throw this away for me, baby. Okay, dessert time. Let's make dessert because for dessert, it's gonna take me all over the place. Now. I got smart today. I'll tell you what I did. I made the pudding and I put it directly in a Ziploc bag. It's already there waiting for me. See? <laughs> I also already put the Cool Whip in a Ziploc bag so that all I had to do was snip the little tips even throw that away for me and pipe it in, put it on my tray, and we're done. So there you go. Fast, easy, delicious. All right. You know, I have menus clear until, I don't even know. I've got probably another two, three months of menus. What's really nice is that I realized that there is not one menu in, in months of menus that's the same. So I'm really happy about that. But if there's something out there that you guys want me to make, look at that. <laughs> look at this. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see this? You probably can't. I'm okay. watching there. I don't know. Okay, you're watching on there. Okay. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to open another one. Hey, I'm using my little tray that I don't make a mess. Okay. Oh, that looks so pretty. That looks pretty. Now wait till you see how I do. Finish it up. All right, let's put these in. Let's turn the plate. That looks delicious too. Yes. So, like again, I like I was telling you earlier, what I did was in the pudding, I actually put zest of limes and lemons. So that's why it's a lemon and lime dessert. And then we got lemon and lime on the top of it too. So yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm going to make four more because look how quick this is, right? So easy, so quick, and delicious. I mean, you know, you find out companies coming. These are things that you could just kind of keep in your pantry. 
and you find out companies coming, you didn't expect them to come, and but here they are. Well, you can do something like this that takes minutes. Even the pudding doesn't take very long to, to, you know, by the time you would get all the other stuff, if you made the pudding first, the pudding sets pretty quickly. So this is a very, very, very easy dessert. Here we go. Can you see that? You can see the zest of the wine in some of these. Look at that. And I stayed with the citrus because citrus always goes very, very well with Mexican food, okay? All right, so I'm gonna set this here. Actually, I'm gonna keep it on the tray. I'll just keep that right there. I'm gonna throw this away, and then I'm gonna put the cream. Chris, you take it. And then you can just keep showing that. All right, let's do the cream. Let's see how this is doing. Oh, that is beautiful. You guys look amazing. You see that. It's going to be delicious. They look amazing. And those are some of those are my favorite flavors. Chicken, green chili, mm -hmm. tortillas. Love it. And to me, green chili just enhances everything. Okay. So Vivian says, wow, looks so good. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> can you see that, Mom, on the TV? Oh, yeah, I, got little, I got it sideways, so I can see everything. It's beautiful. I'm watching you on number three. Okay. So we've done 25, this is episode number 25. And like I said, we've had different menus every single week. Now some menus may be similar, but I try to change it up every single week. And if you go to our website and look at the menu page, you are gonna see that there is so much, so many different recipes coming up. It's amazing with, with the, the few foods that I actually use, how many things you can do and how quick cooking can be. Okay. Speaking of that, you want to tell them about your contest? Oh my gosh, I sure do. Okay, so we are hosting a contest. The contest, first of all, while I'm talking, I'm going to be putting some zest on all of these. This is the lemon. Um, we're hosting a, a contest, a recipe contest. Three to five ingredients, okay? We want it to be with like the fed up format where it's just very quick easy recipes now i'm going to do the wine guys look at this oh ah! that was beautiful i get so excited when things are just so pretty isn't that beautiful, beautiful. i know absolutely beautiful. yep okay and then i'm going to put a lemon on one and a lime on another and a lemon on one and a lime on you know just to just to kind of spruce it up a little bit here walter gilbert is in the house and he says it looks delicious thank you so much thank you for joining us today i wish everybody could have some of this i really do that's okay i'll eat it <laughs> mom said it's okay too. i'll eat it <laughs> Okay, so there's my dessert. Is that gorgeous or what? Oh, that beautiful. sure is. Look at that. Hi, Malena, will you get a picture of this for me? Yes. I'm going to set it right here. Mm -hmm. And if you'll get a picture, that would be good. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. So let me get this out of here. Okay. There she goes. She takes beautiful pictures. <laughs> All right, I want to see how our casserole is coming here. Beautiful. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna leave this a couple, just a couple of minutes. So let's finish up about the recipe. Three to five ingredients. And um, I, I mean, if you've made something over and over and over again and it just worked, please send it to us. We're gonna pick five finalists and then we're gonna have the top three winners. And you're gonna get prizes, like really nice things. So we hope that everybody gets involved. So how do you do that? You can submit your recipes one of two ways. You can either go to MCN, Fed Up, which is my cooking nook, fedup.biz. That's just our general website, and you can submit it on our, on our, there's an events page, or you can just go straight to an email, christine at mcnfedup.biz, and just submit it that way. So you got two ways to do it, and if you're out there or you know someone, like you've gone to their house and they've had a great recipe, tell them about it, tell them to submit. You can only submit through the month of July. And then mid-August is when we'll announce the winners. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to prepare those five recipes. It's going to be really, really super fun. Okay? It'll be a long episode, maybe two episodes. 
but it's going to be where we here in my kitchen are preparing your recipes. Now, the other thing that I want to tell you, this is a blind taste test. The, there's only going to be one person on my entire, every, I call it my staff, but my family here, there's only going to be one person that knows who the recipes came from because I have a lot of people that know me and stuff, so I want it to be fair and square. I don't want to know who sent what, okay? We don't want to know. We just want to know what person's going to know, and they're not going to tell us until the day of, okay? We're just going to pick five recipes that we love, and we're going to pick the three top. So it's going to be really, really exciting, so send those recipes in, why don't you? Does it have to be like dessert, meat, could it be It could be anything that's okay. three ingredients. Okay. It doesn't have to be a main dish. It doesn't okay. have to be anything like that. It just needs to be three, three to five great ingredients in a great recipe. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for masterpieces that you do that quick, easy, fast, easy, and delicious, and that fits our format. And so we want you to get involved. The other thing is, please, as Chris said, go to, we're, we're trying to meet a goal on uh, our YouTube channel, which is my cooking note, and we're trying to hit 100 likes, um, and then I will start selling my recipes, my, my little recipe book. So we want you to do that. The other thing that I was going to do today, um, I'll, I'll show you next week. Um, I have little mugs that I have that I had made for the show. And I'm going to put that on the website. And if you want them out there, 10 bucks and they're the cutest things ever. So uh, you can look. I'll, I'll be putting that on my Facebook, my, my web page, probably today. And so if you want to buy a mug, you can do that too. So Because we want you to every day just look at us and go, oh, yeah. There you guys are, and just support the show. So that's what that's all about. All right. You know what? I'm done. Okay, so let me go through what we did today. All right, so we did the lemonade, pineapple punch, which was it's a hit. Delicious. It was delicious. Okay. Very, very good. We have our little lemon lime tarts, which really turned out beautiful. And how easy was that to make? Okay. We have our rice over here. We have our delicious Spanish rice right there. Woo! Smells good. And then guess what? The star of the show. No, we had we had another star of the show. Mary Halsey. She's the star of the show today. So thanks again to Mary. We love you, girl. And here is wow, the enchilada casserole. Okay, so because it's not sitting long enough, it's probably gonna go on my plate but the tastes are all there. I will definitely let this sit for a while so that it cooks through and everything kind of gels together, okay, because that's that would be the best way to, to serve it. And actually, um, if you turn it really low, that would even, because the boiling, I just wanted it to, to, you know, cook everything through, although it was, and melt the cheese. But um, now with it just simmering, that'll start bringing everything together without things burning on the bottom. So, and I also have sour cream on the on the plate because everybody likes sour cream on Mexican food. And I have my beautiful little handy dandy plate. Come on over. Because I'm going to serve me some of this. Oh, yeah. And you oh. can eat it today, right? Huh? You can I can eat this today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at the cheese. The cheese makes me happy. Look at that. Okay, so I really got about five layers. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wait till you guys taste this, because I know it's going to be fabulous. Okay, like I said, the longer it sits, it'll stay layered. Okay, but I don't know if you can see, Chris, right here on the side, you actually can see where the layers are all right there. Okay, so, I mean, they're there. The layers are there. All right, and then, oh, I want, I want rice. You know me, I'm a, I'm a big rice, rice person. I love rice. You can't have enough rice either. Okay, and it's got lots of onions, and that's, oh, I love onions. Okay. All right, here we go. Fabulous, yes? You gotta get a picture. Okay, where's my phone? We need a picture. Oh, is this your time? And I'm gonna get some of the punch. All right, guys, so here's the deal. 
Next week, join us for, we call them fragia. What is a fragia? It is a Sicilian frittata. And we're making a fragia next week. We're going to make a veggie fragia. And um, <coughs> then with that, we're going to have homemade uh, seven up biscuits and a great caramel dessert. So we got another great menu coming next week. Don't forget to watch the show later on today when Chris posts it with the you for the YouTube channel. Okay, and when you go there, please like and subscribe. That would be great. Okay, guys, we are done for today. Thank you for coming to my cooking nooks. Fed up. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I had a great time, and even I mean, with Mary here, it was even a better time. So thank you, Mary, and hop in any time. We love you. So, uh, and I wish you were here because you like Mexican food. I wish you were here to taste this casserole because I'm telling you, this is to die for. You guys, God bless you. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. here at Goddard Park at the Cool Cat Karaoke. Missy's Funky White Sister is in the park! Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing now, flip it and reverse it. Is your baby with this wind yip? Is your baby with this wind yip? If you got a big let me search ya. Find out how hard I gotta work ya. He's your friend with his wing yipper. He's your friend with his wing yipper. I like to get to know you, side to show ya. Put the pussy out, like I told ya. Give me all your numbers so I can phone ya. Your girl acts stinks, then call me over. Now on the bed, lay me on your sofa. Call before you come and need to sing a toke ya. You do or you don't, or you will or won't ya. Go down town and need it like a vulture. See my hips and my tips, don't ya? See my ass and my lips, don't ya? I lost few pounds in my whips for ya. This kind of beat that go ra ta ta, ra ta 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 ta. You sexy, so gonna say blah blah blah. Work it, I need a glass of water. Boy oh boy, it's good to know ya. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Pull my thing now, flip it and reverse it. Is your feminine this wing yip? Is your feminine this wing yip? If you got a big, let me search ya. Find out how hard I gotta work ya. He's your pimmin' if he's wing yip. He's your pimmin' if he's wing yip. If you're a fly girl, get your nails done. Get a pedicure. Get your hair did. Boy, lift it up. Let's make a toaster. Let's get drunk. It's gonna bring us closer. Don't I look like a Halle Berry poster? See the velvet here playing tricks on ya. Girlfriend wanna be like me? Never. You won't find it. It's even better. Las Vegas weather. Listen up close while I take it backwards. Each ah, each ta ah, ta ta. I'm not a prostitute, but I get wet wrong. Love your braids and your mouth full of pumps. Love the way my ass go bump 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 bump. Keep your eyes on my bump 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 bump. You think you can handle this? The dunk dunk dunk. Take the thong off and my ass go boom. Cut the lights out too. See what I do? Is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down for the reverse. Is your feminine if it's wing yip? Is your pimmin to swing yip? If you got a bad let me search ya. Find out how hard I gotta work ya. Is your pimmin to swing yip? Is your pimmin to swing yip? Boys, boys, all types of boys. Black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese boys. Why ta ti 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 ti? Why ta ti 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 ti? Girls, girls, get the cash. If it's not five, we're shaking your ass. Ain't no shame, ladies, do your thing. Just make sure you're ahead of the game. Just cause I got a lot of fame, super. Prince couldn't give me change, name Papa. Couldn't King Tay Slave again, no, sir. It's the Black saying, oh, yes, I'm ass up. No! Dating a pastor. Me and that big red can't ask you. Who is the best? I don't have to ask you. Cause when you come out, I don't even matter. Why you act dumb like that? Duh? Say you act dumb like that? Duh? And your drama boy go pum pum pum. Give me some, some, some of this in a bun. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Pum a thing now for the every verse. Is your feminine with this wing yip? Is your feminine with this wing yip? If you got a man, let me search it. Find out how hard I gotta work you. Is your feminine with this wing yip? 
is your enemy is when you to my fellas. Good guy. I like the way you work that. Now come ladies up. Uh. Sure know how to work that good God.